Hey, my name is Dustin Selva with the Elemental Flutes, and in this video I'm going to share with you the new concept of a triple drone flute that has 18 holes in it and 18 different plugs to be able to switch all the different configurations that you can possibly imagine. So here's what I'm talking about. This is a 18 hole triple drone flute, and you see that there's plugs in this whole top row. I also have plugs for all of the other holes, uh, except for the lower ones down uh, this lower one here. This is a tuning hole. Um, the top six do have plugs, and then the bottom three in the middle do have plugs. This is just set up in a configuration so I can show you uh, a bit how to play it. So here's one style. This is a Koa triple drone flute in the key of G, G, and a high D. And it has the totems all in a line and I have made it so that um, different flutes have this totem further down so that the top hole lines up with the other top holes so that you can kind of reach over and play um, like play one one side and then also at the same time reach over and play a different flute uh, that's pretty complex this is a little bit easier um, style of making, and I think it also offers a little bit easier way of playing because you're not reaching over as many holes. So if you're left hand on top to play the high flute, you don't have to reach over any holes. And then when you're playing, you're not um, you're not messing with the frequency of, of by covering some of these other holes by accident if you have them open. Um, likewise, if you're playing with the, the other side, you're not necessarily, you, you can bypass these D's by reaching over this side, and the only ones you have to worry about is the middle ones, so it's a little bit easier than trying to miss all six or uh, more than that if they're all in alignment. So this is the, the other style. Um, the other video that I made had it the other way where they're all in alignment. Um, so this flute is Koa and it has a wooden inlay of a dragonfly with maple wings and a koa body. And then it has laser engraving uh, geometry along the sides. And then it has an engraving of a hummingbird with all sorts of different uh, gemstones in it. From malachite, red coral, shungite, um, there's also mother of pearl and turquoise in, uh, in and throughout the hummingbird. So this flute also has a mouthpiece where the middle flute is a little bit exposed, making it easy to play the middle flute um, separate from the other two. And then the other two are uh, on the sides and you can easily play it without leaking air into, uh, into any of the others if you want to isolate it as a single flute. So now let's go into uh, how this flute plays. So this flute, basically you could play it as a single, double, triple, um, and there's a, there's a whole wide variety because you have all the plugs to plug into it of how to configure it. So the configuration that I have is the high D is all open, the middle G, the bottom three are open, and then on the left you have them all plugged, giving you the low G drone. So for example, with this one, you could play it as a high D single. Then you can play it as a double with the middle. As a triple with the high D, the um, you have the this is actually set up as a D as well. The high D or the low D of this high D flute is your middle drone note, and then you have a low G for the third drone note. So this 
gives you uh, quite a lot of range of, of playability. You can also play it similar to a harmony style. As a triple or as a double, I'll play it as a double. do that that's completely out of the the pentatonic uh, scale <laughs> but that's what this whole 18 hole uh, configuration allows you to do is to really broaden the scale of what you can create with this these are tuned chromatically so that you get um, pretty much every note uh, in tune cross fingered except for the uh, cross fingering of this this cross fingering um, you just have to half hole the bottom when it's a little bit sharp and pretty much on all Native American style flutes that's going to be the case if uh, they are uh, chromatically tuned just because to get them perfectly chromatically tuned that hole has to go way out of whack it has to go way up higher um, and as you go deeper it just isn't going to work um, yeah that's a whole other story for a different day but so here's one configuration. Now I'll show you a different configuration. So this is a maple drawn flute in the key of G. And this, uh, sorry, in the key of G, G, and high D. So this is the same as the koa. It has a inlaid, uh, crushed stone inlaid butterfly with all sorts of stones again. Um, shungite, malachite, red coral, uh, mother of Pearl and Turquoise. Um, I really like the combination of colors that that uh, gives. And uh, this flute is tuned to 440 hertz. The other one is as well. Um, and so the configuration of this particular flute is um, set up so that you can play the G. And then you have a low G drone. And then you have... Um, your three holes open as as your drone on the on the high D, and that allows you to play it as a drone or also again to play it as a harmony. Uh, again, this is a little bit complicated because you're going to have to learn the cross fingerings and being able to play them together and what notes work. And it's just going to take a little bit of time at, in each configuration to learn what works with each other. So here's how this one sounds. plug the middle flute um, I'm not going to play it by using my tongue to just cover up that hole sound a lot of things happening um, it can kind of overpower each other at times so it's it's a balance of, of playing it as a single adding in other stuff and not just using it primarily as a triple it gives you the wide range to do whatever you want so that's two different uh, combinations of how you could utilize this flute 
and there are so many. There are, it's ridiculous. Um, I could do probably a two hour course just on these flutes to teach you how to play them because it's, um, there's so much going on. So again, this is 440 Hertz uh, Maple. This is the key of G, G and high D. Um, you do have the same mouth on it with the triangle and you have three different holes to play into it as a single double or triple and you can isolate which one you want to play as a single double or triple. Um, and lastly I have another flute to show you. So this is the lowest of this style um, and this style um, I should say it was created by Justin Rolfson. He had the design concept and came to me uh, well, actually, first he came to Dana Ross with it, and Dana Ross created him the first ever 18-hole plugged crazy triple flute. Um, and then he came to me and asked me if he could make it, um, and it's it's been such a crazy journey to learn how to make these. Um, so there's so many different ways to do it. This one is Monkey Pod. This is the lowest I'll make it. Um, so this flute, we are, uh, I like to call it as a harmony style. There's, harmony style is kind of, uh, I like because there's just so many different harmonies that you can make. But at the same time, a harmony flute is also considered a Mayan temple flute. But you can actually create this flute into a Mayan temple configuration. Um, this one you can create, so this is the key, low D, low D, and then a, a mid-range G. And so this is actually uh, in the fourth. So if it would have been a D, D, and an A, it would have been a fifth. So usually the D and the A are what you would do as a Mayan temple flute. So you can do it as a fourth as well, um, depending on what keys you use. So D and G are the fourths. So if you were wanting to create this as a Mayan temple flute or these other ones, what you would do is just take these bottom three plugs out and you would do that on the, the G and you would do it on one of the D's. And you can play this as a triple or you can play it as a double. So I'm going to use my tongue again to cover the middle hole and I'll show you how this, uh, how this works. So you can play just the outsides, cover, just press your tongue lightly on that to be able to play these out to, outer two. that's a really fun way to do it. Um, there is a, um, or I should say you can also play it as a triple, so you can add in the middle. of keys. Um, you could do this again with the, the G and the D if you wanted to. It's a, it's just, that's three or yeah, three different configurations of how to set this up. So I'm right-handed on top. This is the style that I prefer is to be able to play my right hand over and left hand down below. And this way when I switch and play left, uh, right here, left down below, I don't, I can easily miss these holes and not have to worry about covering them. Um, Again, there's the other style of lining them all up and this totem moves down. So that allows you to kind of 
be able to play with one hand and potentially reach over and play another flute at the same time. It's not something that like I feel is super necessary for most people because there's it's just endless what you can do with this flute and it makes it a little bit more user friendly. Um, so those are the three different triple 18 hole flutes that I have at the moment. Um, I'll play around with this one a little bit for you, create another combination, um, just so that you get an idea of, of the possibilities again. So this one is the deepest I've made. This is a D, D, G, and it is also tuned to 440 hertz. I'm going to set it up so that I can play the, the D um, with um, the middle D. So I'm going to do the outside D open. And then I'll create, um, actually I'll leave this as a low D. So this will be the simplest version. So if you wanted to play one single flute and have two drums, this is what it would sound like. So it's a little bit um, different than the, the fifth style. So this is a fourth. So if this was in, um, for example, if this was a fifth, um, this would be A, and that would be the same as all three of these out, all three of these middle plugs would give you the note of A. Um, but if you keep the, the third one in, that gives you the G. Uh, this one here, if that's plugged, this two open, that gives you the G, and that's the same as this side. So I'm gonna open up all three, and this will give us the two different drum notes. by just using it as drone to drone to drone. It's, I find it nicer to create more harmonies, set it up where you could play one flute, play the other flute, and create, um, like use, use both your hands at the same time to play with, with yourself. Um, and so the last thing that I wanna share about these flutes is basically this is as far as, I mean, you can always take it further, possibly, but this is as far as um, I like to take it. Um, the, these flutes have um, so much potential of what you could do with them. There is a simpler version that I recommend for most people. If you're looking to get a flute similar to this and have a lot of uh, the different options, um, there's a... Uh, there's a, a, a style of making this where you only have five plugs, basically is what I would recommend, where you plug, um, so basically you would do a 15 hole flute, these top three wouldn't be in on the flute. They would just be um, solid wood, there would be no holes there. This is a style that Dana Ross also makes, and I've made a few of these styles of flute, and I, I think this provides so much versatility to it and less complication. You don't have as many plugs either. So you would have these three lower plugs and then you, what I recommend is a plug for the third hole from the, uh, from the top so that you can play it chromatically so you have the six holes 
And you can also play it with, um, as a triple flute. So if you're wanting to play it as a triple flute and you don't have any plugs for either side, what happens is you're going to be up too high. It's not going to be in key or in tune with the other flutes. Um, so what I recommend is putting that in and then you have the high note of the octave. So if this whole, uh, this plug was in here and these two weren't, you would have a high D and that would work with both the other flutes and same with this, it would have a high G. Um, and then you have these three here and you, you can do so much with that. It's insane. You can play it as a single, you can play it as a single, you can play it as a harmony, you can play it as uh, a, a, like a drone with the, uh, the D and the D, you can play it as a drone with the G and the D, you have the three different drone notes for each of those. So technically you're probably looking at uh, like eight different double drone flutes with that, just that option. And then you can also play it as a triple. So that's, and it also is a harmony. So you can play the top three together with the D and the G or the D and the A if you have it as a D and an A. So that is such a user friendly, it's a lot less work for me, which makes it a little bit cheaper. This price point on these flutes is pretty high because of the complexity of it and to get it in tune with itself, to play really well with itself, to, um, to do all the plugs. Each plug is made by me individually to fit every single hole so that um, it works. If you don't do that, it's gonna mess with the frequency if you, if you don't do the way that I make these plugs. Um, so I've tried different ways. Making them out of wood seems to work the best. And for each flute, I'm taking measurements of every hole so that if you lose a pug, I can remake you one relatively easy. Every single hole is so unique that it's challenging to, so please try not to lose the plugs because it's pretty challenging to, to make them without the flute. So it's ideal if you send the flute back to me to make you a new plug. Um, but I'm going to be taking down measurements and hopefully being able to send you one or maybe three to hopefully find the one that fits. Um, so again, this is low D, low D, and a high, uh, mid-range G. And this is a uh, triple flute. And I should mention that this has a, a cutoff section here. And that's just because the G is shorter than the D. And the hole here, I was leaving just in case I needed to plug it for tuning reasons to give you that option. And I found that I don't need to do that. But um, these holes can be added. Um, Native American style flutes, uh, flute makers often add what's called four direction holes. And so they'll, they'll leave the flute a little bit longer, put in four holes, and it represents playing to the four directions. So I like to add tuning holes in the bottom. They, even though it's not all four, I like to think of it as playing to the directions anyways. Um, and oftentimes I do add all four as well. But for these styles of flutes, it's very challenging because you have two together and you can't add the middle one. So you could add three if you wanted to. Um, so that's the difference of these ones where it's all the way flush to the bottom. And that was for design purposes. That allowed me to put in the butterfly um, it does affect the upper um, overblown note of the, the higher D to do it like this. Um, so just be aware of that. That's the only downside to be able to add in that extra design element. Um, so the last things I should mention is there's basically um, the ways that you could des uh, design these flutes, there's a few different ways. One is to do a laser engraving, which is just um, basically wood burned. Uh, you could inlay it with stone. This is one way of designing it. You can add a stone cabochon into it, which is our whatever shape they are, but they're flat on the bottom and a little bit round on the top. And then you inlay that into the flute. Um, I do crushed bands of stone into the flute and uh, those look really nice. You can do those at the ends primarily. Um, and then I also do custom carving uh, for the totems as well. Every element adds more to the price. Um, 
And if you're curious about the, uh, the price point of these, I'm working up a whole uh, a sheet to be able to send out to people that gives the prices for every single uh, wood, key, single, double, triple, harmony, and then I also make what's called a fifth series harmony flute. Um, and that's another one that was created by uh, Dr. Justin Rolfson. And he had the design concept in his mind of, of how he wanted it to play in the fifths. And we created it where it played the high F sharp, the mid range F sharp, and the high C sharp. So it gave you three different, um, technically keys, even though two are the same, they're different octaves. And his idea was to be able to play it as a run from the low F sharp all the way up to the second octave of the high F sharp and beyond with the, the, the upper register of the higher F sharp. So we're making that in a whole different uh, series of sets of keys in the fifth series. So if you think about it as F sharp 5, F sharp 4, C sharp 5, it's you're taking that concept and doing with D as your low. So you have a D, uh, A, and a D, and their two Ds are different octaves. Same with C, same with, and so on and so forth. And so uh, I'm working on those at the moment, and those are going to be really fun. So stay tuned for those flutes coming out soon. Um, so basically that should be about everything on the triple um, 18 hole harmony style. Um, it, there is a potential um, if you wanted it to be a A-frame style. That's totally doable if um, you didn't want it like this where it's all three. It would have three different voices of three different flutes and you could do leather instead of the plugs which would make it a little bit easier. The only thing is that um, it's gonna be a bit more challenging to play on the left side while your other two are hanging out and you, the two are bigger, um, but it is a possibility. Um, uh, that's pretty much it though. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video about the 18 hole uh, triple Native American style flute. Um, again, created by Dr. Justin Rolofson. If you're interested in learning more about these styles of flutes and the other styles of flutes, and if you're interested in um, taking lessons to understand them, um, he's your guy. He's gonna teach you everything there is to know about it. He has a doctorate in music. He created the whole concept and the theory, and he's uh, creating a bunch of different things with these styles of flutes. Um, yeah. Um, check him out. He has a YouTube video. He has Instagram. Um, all I believe under uh, Dr. Justin Rolfson. If you search his name, uh, he also has a Twitch platform and goes live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I, I'm not sure of the time. I think it's around like one o'clock Central Time ish, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, check out his his uh, his Twitch online where he plays meditative music and he he shows how to play him um, and more in a concert style uh, than me just kind of you know plugging this and that and like showing you what, how it works um, he creates music and uh, plays along with music and loops music to it so it's really really unique experience I uh, highly recommend it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe hit the like button and I hope you guys have a beautiful day